and welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we're doing some work at the Wickham Swan. He's like just making fun of me because I do one job a year. Mike, it's behind you. Oh no it isn't. Wickham Swan, home of the Panther. Your ladder, oh that, your ladder I bought 10 years ago. Get off his ladder I bought 10 years ago, Mikey. 2nd of January, and that's probably a booking now. Hello, can I take your Wickham Swan order? No, just electrical. Right, so what we are doing, we have three roller doors fitted here. So we need a power supply for them. So we're gonna run a power supply either from under the bar or over there. We've gotta go through the task of finding out which one of the many, many fuse boards it's fed from and where that even is. And we will isolate it run some power probably up one of the pillars because there's already some trunking here with some data so we're thinking doing a similar thing obviously in separate trunking segregation of band one and band two materials or cables and then we're going to run socket up there socket over that side plug these in hello tom quick question for you we're just up at the bar do you know where the fuse board is for it we think it's behind a locked door possibly Whenever I like to fit a socket, I like to pop a bend on it first, so then when you push it back, there's no pressure. So that'll go in, it's not going to force pressure on that terminal, whereas if I just used a straight one and then push it back, you're just putting pressure on a terminal. So I always like to give them a little bend to where they're going to go. I normally do the earth after I've sleeved it, then bend it. This one will double over because it's by itself as well. Then bend it and then when you push it back, you're putting absolutely no pressure on the screw, on the connection, the cable, nothing. Nice and easy. Here's one we made earlier. Here's one I dropped earlier. 